So we work with the data that is shared with us by our members. We have 800, over 830 million members on LinkedIn in over 200 countries around the world. And the profiles that our members set up uh, share information with us about uh, where they've been employed, the skills that they've acquired, the education that they've undertaken, and the particular job titles that they perform as well. And this allows us at a level of aggregation to see what trends are happening with regard to things like hiring, skills acquisition, and migration. Well, LinkedIn's vision as a company is to create economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce. And through sharing the insights that we glean from our data, we believe that we're adding and augmenting the capacity of governments and policymakers to understand the issues and challenges that are happening with regard to their labour markets around the world. And by giving that additional insight that our global, consistent and near real-time data can give, we think we're giving an extra tool to policymakers to help them understand the labour market and skills challenges of the 21st century. A lot of our research is focused on how to create a sustainable, equitable and resilient labour force and we've worked with many global policy makers, many leading research organisations like the World Bank, the World Economic Forum, the OECD and many national research organisations as well like many of the, work, the projects that we've done with IFO in the past. And we believe that we are giving um, those policy makers uh, definitely during, as had happened in, during the COVID-19 pandemic, an extra tool to understand exactly what's happening in their labour market when something like a large exogenous shock like the pandemic hits and when they understand what sort of policy reactions or policy interventions that they need to deploy at speed. That's where we believe we have a role to play in working with our other partners.